Hey guys, LC Fever here, and welcome to this 95 rated Trophy Titans icon Franco Baresi player review. So, as you can see on screen, this is the team I started him in. We've got Edison in goal, Cap de Villa, Baresi, Upper Meccano, and Lam in defence, Rivaldo, Locatelli, Tonali, and Gonzalez in midfield, with De and Henri in attack. Baresi is 5'9, he's got medium attacking and high defensive work rates, he's right footed, and has a two star skill moves and a three star weak foot. He can only play in the centre back position. And then looking at his stats, he's got 81 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, 90 short passing and long passing, 96 reactions, 88 ball control and composure, 97 interceptions, defensive awareness and stand tackle, 92 heading accuracy, 98 slide tackle, 86 jumping, 90 stamina, 84 strength, and finally 85 aggression. I will give him a try with basic, although I think I might put shadow on him just to give that pace a little bit more of a boost. And then looking at his icon profile, and it sort of just runs through his uh, performances during the 89-90 seasons, where he's named the Serie A Football of the Year, and he also won the European Cup in 1989 for AC Milan, which I'm assuming is the equivalent to the Champions League today. And then finally onto his traits, and he's got solid player and team player, with the other two being AI-based ones. He's got Keenan Essie in midfield with a new fall on at left wing. I'm expecting quite a lot from Baresi as long as I don't mess up myself defensively. I'd say he's in a decent defence too. Some players that quite a lot of people are using like Cap de Villa for example and the new Lorm. So he should be, uh, should be fairly solid. Okay, I think Baresi was playing him on side there. Not a great start. Can he pressure Alexis Sanchez? Okay, just as a low driven shot. Beats Edison. Not the best play from Baresi there, playing a deeper line in the rest of the defence, but I'll allow him a couple of mistakes. He's got a big gap here again, and he's getting burnt by Sanchez once again. Pressuring him, he's just going for these low drivens. Okay, we forced him on another run. He's brought his keeper all the way out this time, and I couldn't take the shot off. I'm going to beat this guy. I can feel it. There we go. 1-1. One, one. And we do manage to get the goal eventually. I've been pressing for it. I gave him that then. He's not taking it, but cool. Not cool. The ball. Upper Meccano has come on the inside there and just giving him the goal, essentially. Okay. First interception for Baresi, but he's taking a terrible touch. And he's gone straight to Sanchez. Not a great start for him so far. Crazy. Needing to click on there. He's headed it, but he's, it's just gone again straight to him. Thankfully, he's messed that one up. Okay, good interception. Okay, I get a bit lucky there, but um, we do manage to get it out eventually. Okay, he's blocked it, and I just couldn't get it out from under his feet, and we've been bailed out again. Oh, I feel like I should be winning, but I'm losing 4 1 somehow. Right. You're joking me. How is it falling to him here? Finally, 6 2. Okay, good tackle. Can we score from this? We've got Bale. He's wide open. Right, 6 3. Yeah, I've got two minutes. It's not happening this, but at least we're getting some goals now. Come on, Baresi, he gets a free header and it's in. 
And I think that's going to count as his goal, even though it came off Brolin on the line. It still should be his goal, right? It is. So, you know, he's not had the best game defensively, but at least he gets a goal. Okay, and the game finishes 6-4, unfortunately. We do lose that one. Yeah, tough one to take. And we had a little bit of a resurgence at the end there, but just not enough. A little bit, a little bit too little too late, I think. Okay, game number two, and hope for a better result than the last one. This guy's got the new Benucci, um, Mbappe, of course, and a few other decent players. Some of them you don't actually see all too often, though. And I have now put a shadow on Barese. Okay, Barese picks that up after the tackle from, I think it was Tonali. Jules Kunde playing right back. Can we have that one in? How has that not gone in? Finally, we score. Okay, 1-0. I've been pushing his goal quite a bit. And he's just like that. He's rage quit. So, yeah, I think he knew a loss was coming with that one. Right, then game number three. And he's got Van der Sar. He's got goal Kim Pembe. And he's got Mbappe. So this is a bit of a strange team, actually. I've given him that, but it's okay. I put the tackle in. Safety first from Barese there. Go on, Barese, get across. Okay, he makes a decent play. I was hoping to be able to keep that in play. Oh, what is that? What has happened there? Just completely unmarked in the box. I've never seen anything like that before. Okay, good interception from Barese, but we need to get rid of it here. We managed to just chip it over the top. Okay, good pickup from Barese there. Surprised he didn't take a bad touch there. It came at him at an awkward height. Like that, I suppose. Yep, he couldn't do anything. Well, I don't know. I suppose he could have maybe got in front of that. He doesn't manage to, unfortunately. In fact, he read time to shot and he just didn't take it. So I don't know what that was about. Can we get rid of it? We do. And that's half. Okay. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Good interception again. From Barese. No, he's losing headers. And that's going to be his biggest weakness, I think. Taking it early. Top bins from Rivaldo. And he tempted me. Brought his keeper out a little bit. Yes, 2-2. Two, two. We managed to finally get something out of this game. He's been taking it into the corners of the pitch and trying to waste time. But finally, we managed to get something from it. And he just basically handed that as on a plate. And yeah, he wasn't sticking around. I knew that was going to happen. He just didn't want me to win. Right, okay, into another game. He's got Puskas and Werner up top. And again, a fairly standard team. A couple of good players in there, but nothing too great. Okay, we're through, but we do our best on our tail. We whip it back post. Take a touch if we can. We volley it. Rivaldo. Okay, another good interception from Barese. He's got a press on, so I'm just going to pass that back. Okay, he's controlling this near man here, but if I can pass that into him. We've caught him off guard. Okay, it's 2-0. Yeah, he was, contro he was marking that player, but... Just knew if we waited a little bit, he'd switch off and we managed to score.
Right, there's another rage quit for us. What's that? Three now. This guy's got the 88 Van Dyke, and that's a rare card to see. But again, apart from that, no real standout players. Can Berezi get across? What a tackle that is. Oh, I didn't mean that to go to him. I meant that to go to the centre back, Berezi. He's done well to shield him. We just get that out. Okay. He dealt with that pretty well. Oh, he's just got around me. Uh, Locatelli. All right. Good job, Berezi is there to pick that up. Tap in. Yes, Omri. Right, we've got the goal. Pressing me now. Who is that? It's Crouch. Can we get that in? Yes. All right, two sort of sweaty goals, but um, we'll take it. Chipped it. Okay, chips are always a bit of a risk. We make it 3-1, though. Is he onside again? Surely not. He's onside again. Oh, up in Meccano. Surely that's a penalty. Okay, I got away with that one. Crazy. Okay, decent clearance out. Can Berezi find Cap De Villa? It's a great ball. Can we whip a cross in? We've got to it. I just can't get the shot off though, but what a pass that was from Berezi. Just showing his long passing ability there. Okay, that's well worked. It's 4-1. And I think that's going to be another rage quit. Okay, then, so what are my final thoughts on this 95 Berezi? Now, you can definitely tell he's a centre-back with really high defensive stats. And although I have used a shadow on him, and I would recommend putting a chemistry style that does boost his pace, I guess it just brings Berezi back up there with some of the best centre-backs currently available in the game. Now, I would say he didn't transform my defence as much as I thought he would, and he didn't have the impact you'd expect from a 95-rated centre-back, to be honest. He still isn't as good as the likes of Maldini, Desai, Blanc even. And I think that's down to his overall physicality, which is what lets his card down sort of every year, really. I do think this year that pace is important for a centre-back, but so is overall physicality. And although he has semi-decent stats with 84 strength and 85 aggression, with his height at 5'9 and his overall build, he just doesn't have the presence on the pitch to bully attackers, like some of the best centre-backs in the game, which is what you'll get from a Lucio or a Virgil van Dijk. So yeah, it's a bit of a shame that that sort of lets his card down. His passing, I did get to use it a little bit, but most of the time they're sort of simple short yard passes. So when he does get the chance to play a good over the top through ball, he will be able to hit those. And then as well, his short passing at 90 just means he isn't going to give away the ball too much from a bad pass in the defence. I think one of the biggest key stats here is actually his 96 reactions. When it came to changes in ball direction, it's okay having high interceptions. But when it comes to the ball bouncing around inside your box, you want your defenders to be the first people to react to it, to stop any sort of chances on goal from strikers. And I do have to say, Berezi was noticeably good at picking these sorts of things up and just stopping any building pressure on my defence. His ball control was a bit hit and miss. There was a couple of times where he gave the ball away where I thought he should have done a little bit better. But at the same time, there's a couple of things with like a ball that was hit at his chest height that he managed to control well. And I had the, a similar thing that happened to Up Meccano in the same game or it might have been the game after, but that travelled quite a few yards away from him after he touched it with his chest. So that did show the difference in quality between this Berezi card and his partner, Upper Meccano, when it came to ball control. 88 composure was also quite important for me, as there's a few times where I got pressed by my opponent on my defensive back line, and it just means you can pass the ball off whilst under pressure if you're getting pressed by your opponent's strikers. Now, of course, defensively, it was really solid for me when it came to interceptions and his tackling ability. I'd say out of all my defenders, he was the person who's picking up most of the danger that was coming towards my box. And this is where this card really excels. You know, from standing tackles and slide tackles, he was coming out of games with 100% completion rates. 
which is what you'd expect from a card of this rating. I actually played him alongside Philip Lahm, and he reminded me quite a bit of Philip Lahm, actually. Not always the quickest, but has great defensive stats, and you can tell that in-game, but he's just a little bit let down by his overall physical presence. But the benefit to having good defensive stats is that, if he doesn't manage to get the ball first time, most of the time, if he gets another chance at it in the second attempt, he will manage to win that one too. Now his height of 5'9 was a bit of a problem for me. I didn't really face anybody that crossed the ball in all the time. However, this is one instance that springs to mind which was against Renato Sanchez, who of course is quite a tall centre midfielder. And he did lose a header there, which wasn't great, and it did lead to a chance on goal. So I can see this being a weakness of the card, which is kind of what you expect with a Baresi card anyway. On the flip side though, with his 92 heading accuracy, I did actually manage to find him once from a corner, and he did manage to score a goal too. So clearly he is capable of winning headers and scoring them. His 90 stamina is pretty much perfect, especially for a centre-back. They don't do an awful lot of running in matches, but if you do play a press or something that does drain centre-back stamina, he should last pretty much all game long. And I've already touched on his strength and aggression, a little bit disappointing, and I wouldn't say he lives up to these stats, but that's more just to do with his general build type. As somebody with a bigger frame with these stats will have a bit more of a physical presence than this card does. So overall, I'm going to give this 95 Berezi an 8.8 .8 out of 10. You can definitely tell he's solid defensively, and he does play like a player that has really high defensive stats. And again, the pace boost was nice to see as it just brings him up to the power curve at this point in the year. However, there is multiple better centre-back options in this game, in my opinion, than this card. And as with most Berezi cards, his overall physicality just lets him down. So if you do come up against somebody that does cross the ball in a lot or has really strong attackers, you might struggle with him in those matches specifically. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please have a like and don't forget to subscribe. And to request any future content, please have a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to reply.